Today, I'm going to talk about differentially private design of distributed algorithms to solve optimum power flow problems. My name is Vladimir Tvorkin, and this work was made with my colleagues uh, from Technical University of Denmark and Georgia Institute of Technology. Uh, the motivation of this work is the growing digitalization of power systems that boost the efficiency of system operations. They are guided by the solutions of so-called optimum power flow problems that provide efficient generator set points to ensure cost efficiency and system reliability. To solve this problem efficiently, system operators require large data sets that may include private information, including power network parameters, load profiles, and generator data. Um, to enable these computations, um, the disclosure of this information is required, and to minimize the information exchange uh, between system operator and uh, power system users, it has been proposed to solve optimum power flow in a distributed way, an attempt to provide privacy. I will first describe the optimal power flow problem. Um, this problem is solved over graphs that contains nodes and edges, transmission lines. Every node has active injection and withdrawal and node potential. Under DC approximation of power flows, the power flows are computed as a difference between the node potentials. Um, having this uh, description of power network, one can optimize it in a cost-efficient way by solving the following centralized optimization problem <coughs> that minimizes aggregated generating cost subject to uh, nodal power balance constraint and flow and generator limits. To solve this problem centrally, one needs to collect all the network data um, that might involve certain privacy risks. To minimize this risk, it has been proposed to solve this problem in a distributed way. Distributed OPF computationals generally require decomposition of the network into nodes or a set of nodes. For example, this node system on the right can be decomposed into subgraphs where every node is uh, given a duplicate of voltage angles of all neighboring nodes. And the original problem can be separated um, such that objective function is uh, separable per node and uh, a nodal power balance constraint and flow and generator limits also become not specific. To restore the connectivity of the graph, one needs to enforce so-called consensus constraints that require the voltage of neighboring nodes to mount the same consensus value, such that every node tries to update its uh, uh, voltage estimates uh, towards the consensus, uh, consensus variable, right? Um, and um, this problem can be used uh, uh, in distributed way by dualizing this consensus constraint. Um, it uh, includes optimization of the following augmented Lagrangian function that minimizes overall cost, the dualized consensus variable, and proximal term that makes the problem strictly monotone, subject to not specific constraints. We can use augmented um, alternating direction method of multipliers to solve this problem in a distributed way. First, a local updates are updated by every subgraph, then the consensus variable is updated respecting the local updates, and then the dual variable of consensus constraint is um, updated using local updates and a consensus value. So on this problem of iterations, there is, um, the algorithm converges to the global optimal solution of the original non-decomposed OPF problem. And what is interesting is that the only information that is exchanged across iterations is the local updates and coordination signals, while private OPF data such as loads is contained within the uh, IDMMs problems. The question is whether these ADMM uh, algorithms preserve privacy. To answer this question, we consider optimal, uh, op optimal power flow subproblem as a mapping from input coordination signals to output coordination signal. And we consider a privacy adversary that tries to reconstruct the private data contained within the subproblem. And um, the only private data assumed in this work is a load um, uh, at the node of interest. Um, and uh, the rest uh, of information is considered uh, to be publicly known. So, we assume that the side information on the cost um, and transmission system topology and IDMM parameters, as well as the structure of this optimization problem, are known to privacy adversary. And um, it attempts to reconstruct the missing data um, 
by solving the following reconstruction optimization problem where the missing the load value is modeled as a decision variable and then optimized to reproduce the response of this subproblem to input coordination signals. We uh, do this by enforcing the following penalty term that minimizes the distance between voltage angles modeled within this uh, problem and the response of a subproblem observed at certain EDMM iteration. We show in the paper that the unknown load value is successfully reconstructed by this optimization problem. And um, we refer to extended version of this paper available on archive for other non-optimization models of privacy attacks. Since the load value is shown to be um, leaked through coordination signals, um, our goal in this work is to provide formal privacy guarantees for distributed OPF computations. To provide these guarantees, we use the notion of differential privacy originated in analysis of large databases. Its goal is to make sure that any computation on database doesn't disclose its private uh, attributes. For example, consider analysis that computes a function Q over data set D and D prime. The first one contains your personal data and the other one is not. Uh, to make sure that adversary cannot infer whether your personal data is included in this analysis, um, differential privacy requires augmenting the noise to its computation to make the result of computation statistically um, similar on different databases. Um, formally, it um, obeys the following definition of epsilon differential privacy, um, and um, it basically says that uh, some arbitrary output of computation tilde, the probability of observing this theta uh, by computing um, some uh, randomized function on data set D is the same as the probability of observing the same value theta on randomized computation uh, on uh, adjacent data set D prime is the same up to some mul multiplicative uh, parameter epsilon. Um, and um, you can visualize it as follows. Uh, you have a randomized output uh, of the query on data set D, D prime, and when you observe a sample from the distribution, you cannot tell from what distribution came from, the one induced on data set D or D prime, hence you cannot tell whether you use the data where your personal record is uh, used or not. And in our work, we use differential privacy to make differentially private every subproblem uh, used in distributed OPF computation. So we consider it as a mapping from uh, OPF dataset to local voltage updates, and um, where the load um, information is only sensitive data to be protected. So to protect this data, we want to make it indistinguishable from any other load different by quantity alpha. And uh, uh, for uh, design of this algorithm, we need information about mechanism uh, query sensitivity, how voltage angles uh, changes with respect to any alpha change of the local data set. Using this information, we can make this query differentially private. There are two general ways to make it differentially private. First one is output perturbation, where voltage angles updates augmented with the uh, noise in computation and the subject uh, of this presentation. And there is a query perturbation method that is not explained in the stock, but we refer to archive a version of this paper for future details. Um, using output perturbation, we augment the uh, voltage angles computed by every subproblem with a random noise that follows Laplace distribution and parameterized by sensitivity of the subproblem to load the data set and um, uh, epsilon parameter, such that the output of every subproblem is now um, uh, Laplace given by certain Laplace distribution. Randomized version of IDMM algorithm now looks as follows voltage angles updated by every um, subproblem. Uh, then uh, they augmented with carefully calibrated noise. And then uh, consensus and dual variables are updated using the noisy voltage updates. And the algorithm terminates when the distance between noisy updates and consensus variables is below certain threshold. The contribution of, the, of our work is to show that um, these um, uh, queries are made differentially private. The results are statistically similar on adjacent load data sets. And we provide several extensions to show uh, that we can use either static or dynamic random perturbations. We can use either global or local query sensitivities to attain different strengths of privacy guarantees. And we can preserve privacy uh, guarantees, not just for a single iteration, but also for across uh, several uh, iterations.
um, to show and to assess the theoretical privacy properties we run numerical experiments on standard test case our um, experiment uh, settings are standard we vary adjusting the coefficient to uh, improve uh, privacy property of the algorithm and we use uh, adversarial inference tool to assess these privacy properties so when we decompose a network into 118 um, uh, nodes we let adversary to infer the loads at these three nodes and when we don't use uh, noise in computations adversary successfully retrieves the values of the loads uh, but uh, when we introduce some non-zero adjacency uh, the output of the query is a sample from uh, green uh, distribution an adversary um, we cannot tell the exact value of the load so when we increase alpha we increase the variance of this distribution and eventually the load inference um, reduces to random guessing um, we then found the trade-off between convergency and optimality loss of uh, noisy ADMM um, algorithm and we uh, found that we can trade off between the two using either static or um, dynamic random perturbations. Dynamic random perturbations are updated uh, su such that random perturbation is updated at every DMM iteration and static um, random perturbations are fixed across the entire course of ADMM iterations and when we increase uh, alpha we uh, see that uh, uh, it takes uh, more time, uh, more iterations for dynamic perturbations uh, to converge. So when privacy parameters are large, it takes 30 iterations in average for algorithm convergence, while static um, perturbations are immune. The convergence with static perturbations is immune to random noise. However, what we uh, have shown is that uh, dynamic perturbations reduced small optimality loss while static perturbations uh, persistently steer OPF solution away from uh, optimal solution. So we have uh, trade-offs between convergence and optimality loss. Uh, finally, we show uh, that we can extend privacy guarantees beyond one iteration. We assume that its uh, iterations uh, are compromised and available to adversary. So it can average uh, the results of voltage updates across t iterations and um, to preserve epsilon differential privacy we scale the noise to respect this t number of compromised iterations so when we look at the root mean square error without using the scale uh, scaling of the noise uh, we show that as more information become available to adversary the root, uh, the root mean square error reduces but when we scale the noise we use differentially private de uh, decomposition we show that we can uh, 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 that the root mean square error um, never increases as more information becomes available to adversary. And uh, in conclusion, there are a few remarks I have to say. The most important one that we made these algorithms are open source and they're available. You can download them following this link. And in our future research, we would like to study the convergence rates of the algorithm as a function of privacy parameters. Thank you for your attention.